Joining me today is uh, Chuck Boynton, owner and manager of Palmetto Ponds and, uh, and Water Gardens. Uh, what is the number one question you get when uh, a, a new client comes to you looking to build a pond? What, what size are they looking for? Uh, what, what kind of questions do they throw at you? The biggest thing that I probably get is, you know, how, how big would this be? Uh, how deep does it need to be? Um, uh, biggest feature for me on a pond uh, is probably a skimmer where the pond pump goes. Uh, and obviously the most important part, uh, depending on, you know, what kind of fish and the fish load that you want is filtration. So, uh, you know, I usually try to give people, uh, I always tell people that when you're building a pond, uh, always think just a little bit bigger than what you're really initially thinking because Every pond that I've ever dealt with uh, that where people are really getting into their ponds, they're really hands-on with it, uh, they go, I wish I would have just built it a little bit bigger. What do you recommend um, uh, minimum depth, for example, uh, when, they're, when you're building it for them? So any pond that I ever build or any pond that I ever amend, uh, do upgrades on, uh, I always recommend a minimum of three feet. Uh, three feet just for the sake of the, the safety of the fish. Um, in the summer times, whenever obviously the, it gets hot, uh, the water is warm, but you know, down here in the south, we have very hot days. Uh, you know, days are, are you know, water temperatures are getting up and day temp the, the air temperatures anywhere between, you know, 95 and probably 105. Uh, so, you know, the, the fish need that depth to be able to retreat to uh, cooler waters, uh, but also, and most importantly, is for the predator aspect of things. Um, right. You know, I, I like to create uh, what I call fish caves or just little platforms, tables in the middle of the water that they can retreat to on hot, sunny days if it's in, in direct sun. Uh, and obviously, with predators being around as well, um, you know they have a place to retreat to that they can they can call a safe place. Right, right, sure, it makes sense. Chuck, I want to thank you so much for taking this time with me today. It's been a pleasure, Rick. I uh, look forward to uh, help you out later on if you need it. I hope you enjoyed this video today, guys, and you found it helpful. Before you leave, please check out one of my other videos you see here on the screen. And don't forget to subscribe. I'm putting up new pond and koi videos all the time. And when you subscribe, you'll be notified right away. And a thumbs up, always appreciated. Thanks for watching, guys.